Hey, man, let's talk about that match with Kenta Kabashi. Was that the first time you worked with him, that shot in uh, Ring of Honor? Yep, yep, first time ever. Um, we had met previously a couple times when I was over in Japan, uh, just real, you know, real brief, you know, hey, how you doing meetings? And then, uh, you know, uh, when we got into New York, man, uh, you know, we got down. Man, that was a hell of a damn match was, uh, I mean, uh, it was just a great match, a hell of a damn match. So, obviously, m mutual respect on both sides. Had he seen you from, uh, you know, film past or knew who and what you were? Uh, yeah, man, huge mutual respect. Um, it was funny, man. Uh, you know, Kobashi coming into to, to America, you know, he really thought that nobody knew who the hell he was. And he also thought that, you know, he wasn't going to get a reaction. He thought he was going to be booed like he was Mr. Fuji or something. I mean, that was really his perception of what would happen in America. He'd never been over here before. Right. And I'm trying to, and I'm trying to explain to him in, in, in my somewhat conversational Japanese that, you know, everybody out there knows you. Everybody knows who you are. Uh, trust me, uh, your tapes have been sold illegally to all these people well before this match was ever uh, put in place. So, you know, they know everything. So then, you know, we're calling the match. And he's calling, and he, when he's starting to, you know, we're starting to put together this match. I mean, he's making it really... I mean, uh, kind of, uh, you know, 60s heelish, uh, right. you know, ah, I'm the evil Japanese guy. I, I, I remember at one point kind of stopping everything and turning around, looking to him, explaining to him, trust me, big baby face. <laughs> right. Don't worry about anything. You guys go out there, we'll, we'll kick ass love. Let me do my thing, you do your thing, and they'll, they will love it. Don't change anything. So, you know, they had a little bit of a hard time, you know, kind of taking my word for it. But then finally the the, the, the managing guy over there got him to, to, to sign on, and we went out there. And, I mean, when you walk through that curtain, I think uh, that, 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 that fan reaction was enough to convince him that, all right, uh, these people are here to see me. And, uh, I mean, we, we had a lot of fun. It was brutal. It was physical. But, you know, uh, when you're given those opportunities, and a lot of guys in wrestling are, uh, you take full advantage of it. And uh, I had a blast, man. Man, total, uh, it was a great vibe in that little uh, arena. Where, where, where was that? Because, I mean, there's a couple thousand people there. It wasn't the biggest place in the world, but, man, the atmosphere was badass. And, of course, like you said, as soon as he came through the curtain, they knew who he was. They uh, knew exactly what they were getting in, and uh, they got a great match. I don't, I don't know if they knew what they were going to get a great match or not, but they sure knew who he was. But it was just a, a great atmosphere. And sometimes those smaller venues are better than a, a big-ass stadium. Well, absolutely, man. I think I think any time that you get, uh, you know, uh, a thousand impassioned fans compared to five thousand kind of wayward half eh, fans in, in a spread out arena, you always got a better uh, situation going on. And uh, you know that night, especially Ring of Honor, you know, with that with that uh, kind of uh, zealotism of a fan base and 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 them loving Japanese wrestling, which they did, which was the whole reason that the company was created in the first place. Um, it was kind of it was kind of the perfect mix of, of everything. It was a perfect night, man. It was you know crowd wrestlers. Um, energy, everything. It all came together, and uh, I mean, it, it was a blast. And it's uh, you know, it's just one of those fond memories. You look back on, you go, "Oh, we we tore the roof off, and we had a, we had a hell of a time doing it."